In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to use the Pan and Zoom tool in PowerDirector 2024 and 365. It's named slightly different and in a different location. The principles will apply to those of you who have earlier versions of PowerDirector, but let's see how it works in this interface. So I have a clip here. It's a squirrel in the winter eating something on a branch and then he hops away and is replaced by a bird at the very end of the segment. Let's do some crop and zoom. So I'm going to click here on the clip and simply click on edit. And then I can choose the pan slash zoom tool in the left side under tools. I'll click on that. And here are my controls. Let's full screen it. And let's start out actually by zooming in. So I'm going to make it smaller at the first frame right here at the left. That's the active keyframe. Then I can click anywhere over here and if I watch my time code it will show me where I am in the clip. I can move any place I want to go. Let's go in about four seconds. And then at four seconds I'm going to freeze it. I do that by double clicking on the double diamond and the plus. That will duplicate the previous keyframe. So for the first four seconds there is no motion. It looks exactly like it started out. But then we're going to make a change. Let's click over to the right. Again, I can use my time code to set that or watch what it is. Let's go back to six seconds, roughly. And at six seconds, I'm going to do a plus on the diamond to set a new keyframe. Now we're going to tighten it up even more. Let's tighten it up here. And we can see in our preview screen what it's going to look like. And let's hold that for a while. Let's go over to here and we're still holding it to hold. Again, I click the double diamond. We'll duplicate the previous keyframe. Now it's going to stay that way. And then we'll move to the place where he's about ready to jump off. And what I'm going to do is expand it. So I'll click on the diamond with a plus and we'll enlarge this. Make it a little bigger. And then we're going to leave it that way till he leaves. And the bird's going to come in and land here. We'll move to the frame where the bird lands right there. And then we're going to keep that other keyframe there by doing duplicate again. And now when the bird is on the ground, we're going to tighten it up. So I'll put these keyframes pretty close together. And we'll set a new one. And let's tighten it up right on our feathered friend here. OK, and that should do it. So I'm going to click on OK. When we play the clip, we see it's zoomed in from the original. And then it zooms in tighter again. And before the squirrel begins to exit the scene, it's going to back out after we've looked at him close up for a while. And he's about ready to leave. He leaves and then the bird comes and we zoom in on the bird. So that's a very simple example of a way in which you can use the pan and zoom tool and what it looks like in the interface of PowerDirector 2024 and 365.